All right, this is a quick video to see how one can convert a uh, lavalier microphone. In this case, this is the Audio-Technica ATR3350 into um, a probe microphone, which you can use for testing hearing in different ways. Um, so, uh, um, so uh, you're going to need a few other things besides the microphone. I'll just give you a, a little show here. Um, one of the things you're going to need is some PVC tubing. This is PVC vinyl 18-gauge uh, tubing. Um, it's basically two millimeters outside diameter and one millimeter inside diameter. And you're also going to need some material for the tip, which has to be very soft. I'm using this uh, Helix Mark probe material. Um, you can see here that it's um, the uh, the uh, the size is uh, 0 0.03 uh, ID and 0 0.065 OD, uh, very soft silicon tubing, and we're going to put these two together to make the probe. All right, there's some other things you're going to need. Uh, this is a, an ordinary kind of nail. Um, this is um, a a uh, a, a nail um, that actually has some uh, specific size requirements. This is a two-penny nail, very common in, in the United States, um, and the dimensions are, um, I believe, about, um, let's see, the dimensions are 1.8 uh, millimeters uh, in diameter, which is 0 0.07 inches. Uh, the other nail, which is not critical, it just has to be about this, is um, 2.3 uh, millimeters uh, in diameter, and it's um, 0 0.925 uh, inches. I'm going to have to take the microphone apart here. Here we are. This is the... Uh, the Audio-Technica microphone that comes with a lot of stuff you probably don't need. Uh, the uh, little battery goes in this thing here, and the microphone itself is this little object here, and that's what we're going to be working with. So, um, the nice thing about these little microphones is the cap unscrews. So, wouldn't you know, this one doesn't unscrew. Ah. Um, the last one I did unscrewed really easy. This one does not. I think I'll stop here and get a pair of pliers. Okay, um, I have gotten a little bit more firepower here. Um, so let's, let's see what we can do with this. Um, Well, that's gotten that nice and loose. So now we can a little bit optimistic there as to nice and loose. I think they may have put a little glue on this. Um, this is the first time I've encountered that. Um, maybe the paint has leaked into the threads there. In any case, it doesn't matter. This here is what we want. Uh, you can see there's a little screen here. We're not going to need that anymore. And this is the microphone capsule right there. And what we want to do is cut a little washer that fits right on top of that surface. And we have the material here, so here's the nail, and here's the little cigarette lighter, butane torch. You get it nice and hot. You'll know when it's hot when the rubber starts to vaporize. Rubber that's already on this nail from the last hole I tried to make.
here. This is now hot enough. So let's see if I can make another hole that's a good hole. That's a better hole. You can see the hole. You can see there's a little bit of rubber detritus here on the outside, which I'm just going to snip off. That's nice. Oh, that's a good hole. All right, now we're going to just uh, just going to cut that out. This way. This little piece of rubber is getting kind of floppy. All right, that looks good. Now I'm just going to make that circular. We do want it to be reasonably well centered because uh, that will make the, the probe tube and the microphone um, come better into alignment. All right, let's uh, try this again. Here is uh, my proto probe tube. Slip the uh, the whole the uh, washer onto it like that, and I'm gonna cut off the end that's got a kind kind of dirty here. There we have it. Um, you can see that. Now let's see if it will fit inside the end cap. There we go. Looks good. I'm gonna sort of tamp it down here. we go. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Let's put it back on the microphone. Yeah, this really is gooky. That's alright. Alright, looks good. Now, I'm not actually going to um, fuss around with a clothespin to hold this steady because, as it turns out, I have a machinist vise here, which does the job quite admirably. And there it is. So now all we have to do is glue that in place. And the easy way to do that is with a little epoxy. So here we have a piece of paper and a little bit of epoxy, like that. This is uh, just ordinary five minute two part epoxy. You can get this at any hardware store. Sometimes it comes in things that look like little syringes, but this happens to be tubes, which I actually prefer. They get messy a little slower. Well, there's some epoxy uh, ready to go. And we're going to stir that up in the way that one is supposed to do it. All right, that looks more than adequately stirred. And now we just kind of 
put it on the tip of the microphone here. The idea is just to um, make this nice little connection we've made between the um, the microphone and the probe tube more permanent. So that's that. And now what I'm going to do is go away and do something else for a while. This is five minute epoxy and in uh, 15 or 20 minutes now it'll be ready for the next step which is going to be um, bonding uh, the uh, silicon, the silicon tube to this uh, PVC tube. That's the next step, and you'll see how it goes. Okay, um, we're now back on the air. Uh, we have here a microphone that has been epoxied, um, more or less ready to go, um, and. Let's just make sure that... Yes, that looks okay. It's funny, it's not completely so hard. It's still a little bit soft, but that's, that's 24 hours old, so what we'll have to do. Um, now, um, the, now we need to join it to the silicon tube. And as you can see from the dimensions I gave already, that the silicon tube is rather smaller. Uh, or the OD of the silicon tube is larger than the ID of the um, of the vinyl. So we're going to have to enlarge the vinyl to be able to stick the um, silicon tube into the vinyl. And for that we're going to use the other nail, the one with zero, uh, 0 0.07 inches diameter. That's a two penny nail. So let's do that. Now to do that, I think that it's actually um, the little blowtorch that I had there is way too strong. So I'm going to use a votive candle. There we go. I don't know if that shows up on the TV. It does. Good. Um, so what I want to do is gently heat this little nail until it's just hot enough. Notice I'm rotating I'm rotating the nail above the candle flame here. And I, I, I don't want to make it red hot or really not all that hot at all. I just want it hot enough that it's going to soften the uh, PVC enough to enlarge it. And this seems to have happened here. You can see that what I'm doing is slowly pushing the nail into the PVC. I'm going to pull it out here. You can see that that's, that's been enlarged. Um, now I want, to, I want to go further than that, so I'm going to heat up the nail again a little bit and then try it again, pushing it a little bit further. There we go. Now this time I'm going to let the, the, um, the nail cool. I'm going to cool it with my finger a little bit. I want it cold enough that the vinyl holds the shape of the nail before pulling it out. All right, there we have it. I think that's cool enough. It's um, basically body temperature at this time. So I'm going to pull this out. Hey, guess what? There we have it. You can see a nice little um, receptacle for the silicon tube has been made in the vinyl. And there it goes. Now actually, you can tell from this that it's a little bit too tight. I mean, it's not too tight, it's too loose. So now what I'm going to do is just
heat the vinyl a little bit too much, too much, too much, too much. Well, almost too much. Actually, just about perfect. Because what I did was I heated up the vinyl just enough to make it shrink down on the on the silicone. There we have it. Now, um, this silicone tube here is too long for any use you'd want. To, if you were actually going to use it with an ear, all you need is about a centimeter length here. Um, but depending on the length you actually might want to use, I'm going to leave it like this until I decide what use I'm going to put this microphone to. So there's, there's the completed probe microphone. Um, we can test it, of course, and that's um, I will do in a bit. But before doing that, I want to just show that sometimes it's desirable to want to uh, bend the, uh, the vinyl into a permanent kind of shape. This here is an example of, of a tube that uh, I was going to make into a microphone but decided not to. Um, or actually it was just a practice bend. And if you do want to bend the vinyl tube after the microphone is made, I would recommend that you um, practice it a little bit first. So here I just cut another piece of vinyl. Say I want to put a bend in this maybe like like that okay um, the trick is to heat it just enough so that it bends easily and forms the shape that you want without closing the tube but you really want to preserve see that was just a little bit too much heat doesn't take much there we go there we go doesn't take much heat to put a bend like this in and it's easy to make it too much. I'm going to do a little annealing here. All right, there it is. A nice bend put in the vinyl and heat it just enough to make it permanent. There we are. Now we just make that cool. And since I'm through with the candle at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow it out. And that's the end of this part of this video. This obviously needs to have a little bit of encouragement to remain in the position that I've given it. But it will, particularly if you leave it like this for some, some hours. Uh, it, will, it will remember what you wanted it to be like that. So that's the end of this video at this point.